What is up everybody, this is Waze back with the next video of Java JDBC Central Training Series. In the last video we created this code in which we created a connection to our database using the username and password and string which is a link to our database. So in this video we are going to learn how to retrieve data from database. We need to use two classes for that, statement class and result set class. You can check them out in a Java documentation if you want to learn more about them. So let's just use that class, so type statement. And let's just give a name of stmt is equal to null. We're going to instantiate it with null. And then we need a result set class. So result set from SQL. And we're just going to name it rs. I'm going to initiate it with null. First thing we need to import the statement class, so just click here, add import for, make sure you don't import any wrong one, import for java.sql statement, which will get rid of the error. Now let's go to the try block. We have our connection object con here. Now we're going to use the statement object. So I'm just going to type the variable name for that, actually object name is equal to, we're going to use con.create statement. Notice that there are a few different versions of create statement method. A default statement method is returned when you don't pass any argument. There is also a version of method where you can set the type of a result set and its concurrency. And that's the version that I'm going to use. The default set version will differ from one database to another database. With MySQL, the default result set object is scrollable. That means that you can move the cursor up and down, going to the first row and the last row, the moving around as you like. But many databases, the default result set type is forward only, meaning that the cursor will start before the data and you will be able to move forward to the end. But you won't be able to move it back and I would like to set my code to override that. The default get result that's scrollable, so I'm going to set a result set type to constant that look like result set, and I'll choose the constant type type scroll instensive. And the second, we're gonna type result set again dot, and we're gonna define whether this uh, statement is only readable or update table. So I'm just gonna read the data from the table right now. So I'm just gonna start concur underscore read underscore only. And let's just add semicolon at the end. Now we have created the statement and then we are going to use our result set object, which is rs, I mean, is equal to, and then we're gonna execute the SQL query on that statement. So just type stmt.execute query. And here in that, we are going to pass in SQL statement, which is going to be select asterisk from and you need to type the table name now. So the table name is students. Now to test the results, I'm going to find out how many rows are returned in JDBC. There isn't a single property of the result set object that you can look at. So instead you move the cursor to the last row of the result set and then find out what row number you are on. I'll use this code rs.last. The last method means you move the cursor to the end of the result set and then I'll do a little bit of system output and I'll output a string uh, with rs.getRow method. Let's run the application now and let's see what result we get. I'm supposed to get four in result because we have four rows in student table. Now let's go to the PHP my admin and in student table I can see that I have four rows so I get the right answer and our JDBC is connected to MySQL and we're getting the right results. The last thing we, in this video we need to do is uh, close over statement object and the result set. So we open the connection and then we close in the finally. So now we're going to do the same thing with the statement. So type stmt. If it's not null, then we have to close it. That's the best practice. So type stmt.close method on it. And this is going to close that. And that same thing we need to do with the result set as well. So rs then not equal to null 
and then type rs close method this will close that all right so one thing i want to mention here that you see once we close once we open the connection first and then we create the statement and then we create to use the result set so you need to close these things once you open that so if you are opening result set at the last then you need to close result set at the first so i'm going to change this con to rs okay and then change this to rs now the second one is we opened the second last we opened was stmt so now we close stmt on the second that's fine and then the first one we open connection then at the last we close the connection so con so you need to remember the way you open that's the way you close it so the last open thing will be closed first and then the second last and then the whatever comes next all right so that's it for this video guys and that's how we open uh, connection we create a statement and then we use the result set to read data from database and that's it for this video i'll talk to you guys in the next video chase